My name is Marcia Garcia. I'm 50 years old and I live in Goodyear, Arizona. I didn't get started racing until I was in my 30s, so, you know, fighting back pain and, you know, injuries, it wasn't that easy. Plus, I was working full time, so my desire to race and my passion to race is what drove me. I suffer from trigeminal neuralgia, which is a very painful disease that affects face and your head. So it's pain on the trigeminal nerve that radiates throughout your head and your neck. It's usually on one side or the other. On my, in my case, I have it on my left side. I was a little bit apprehensive to do it. It was a District 38 race in um, California. I'd never done one before, and I was I was concerned because it wasn't a type of race that I had done before. Um, it was a lot of um, you know, lonely sand and it was kind of desert racing. So I was a little concerned, but I was excited to do it. Um, I got ready like any other race. I you know, made sure I had my tear offs ready, my gear ready. And I did a sight lap and I came back and I felt confident that I could do it. Maybe a little too overconfident. But needless to say, uh, got on the line, the flag dropped, and I was off and running. Um, I did very well the first few laps. It was a two hour race. So coming up on the last uh, half of the race, I saw a shadow. I thought it was a shadow from a bush, but it was actually a mound of dirt, which I hit at full speed. I was pinned and I came off of the bike and the bike landed on top of me. Um, I don't remember a whole lot after that. I just remember the paramedics saying that they were going to need to cut off my gear, which I said, absolutely not because it's brand new. And he responded to me, well, you know, you're not supposed to wear brand new gear to a race. That was the first time I'd heard that. So going forward, I do not wear brand new gear to a race. So we managed to get the gear off without cutting it. And I, was off to the emergency room in an ambulance. Um, I had pretty much broken everything on the left side of my body. My ankle, my knee, my wrist, um, concussion. But my first question was, is my bike okay? So we get back from the, ho the hospital. Uh, I'm on crutches. I have a brace on my wrist, which I have to go see, you know, a, a doctor to see if we're going to do surgery not or not. And I'm, you know, limping around and I am in a lot of pain. Um, I did question whether or not this is something I wanted to continue doing because of how much pain I was in. After I found out that I had this disease, I was determined to continue racing. If it wasn't life-threatening, my thoughts were, I'm gonna deal with the pain in order to continue racing. I love racing with a passion and it's not something that I'm willing to give up over pain. Maybe a week of having a extremely painful flare I woke up one morning and I felt well. I felt okay. And that day I went riding and that was everything to me. I will suffer through five days of pain just to have that one day of riding. I 
want people to see me as a woman who's down, but not out. I'm hurting, but I'm a fighter. And I won't stop. I'm going to keep going until I get what I want out of life. And if it's pain and racing, then I'll take it. If it's pain through racing, I'll take it. If I save one life, if I bring awareness to one person, then I have succeeded and I'm okay with that. If you are out there and you're suffering and you're listening to me, I'm suffering with you. Don't take no for an answer. Research yourself what can be done. There's, you're gonna get roadblocks. You're gonna people, you're gonna have people tell you it's in your head. You're gonna have people tell you, oh, there's nothing we can do about it. You have to be your own warrior. You have to fight. You have to fight for your life. You have to fight for some type of life that you love. And the only way to do that is to take your life in your own hands and race and do whatever you can to get the best quality of life for you. And I don't care if it means switching doctors every three months. You do what it takes to make the best of your life with this horrible disease that we all deal with. And as a trigeminal warrior, you know where I'm coming from. It, it seems like it's the end. You want it to stop. You want it to stop no matter what. But you're not gonna know what tomorrow brings unless you keep fighting, keep fighting to find a cure for trigeminal neuralgia. Thank you all for spending some time with me talking about the things that are part of our lives every day, struggle every day. I want you to know that we're all in this together and I'm not going anywhere. Let's, let's finish this race together. Let's find a cure for trigeminal neuralgia.